I want to show you a modification I did to my drone. Um, is this camera pointing in the right direction? Probably it is. Okay, so the stock drone um, weighs 249 grams and flies 10.5 kilometers on S mode or P mode, really. Um, this mod here is a, basically use a tie strap to attach it. Um, we'll go 14 kilometers, 14 and a half, but um, I doubled the, the power going in and I only get 14.5. Uh, it's good to note that when you add more weight that you're going to go less, less distance. I think that's kind of obvious for most people. Um, and you have to add a lot more weight to go farther. So I basically doubled the battery size by simply um, piggybacking all the connections across. So the positive on this battery pack, I ran to the positive on another Mavic mini battery pack, which this is right here, this green one. The, the color difference, uh, I don't know if it matters, but this is the current model of battery they're using in their batteries right now, which is actually it's a, called a cell, um, which is, I assume, another 2,500 milliamp um, cell. And this is the, the old ones that I got with my drone. Um, okay, so the balancing wire, which is this little white one right here, um, it just basically goes to the balancing point down here. I, I didn't solder it directly to here. Um, the reason being is when you do solder it directly to here, it's possible that this wire will jump off this connection. So I soldered it back maybe about half an inch um, by shaving the wire down or the sheathing on the wire down and then cutting in with a solder. Um, but anyhow, this 20, 28 gauge wire here and I just drilled holes in the little top of this thing. Oh yeah, by the way, you just cut this off with a, an X-Acto knife. Just cut down both sides and it just peels off like uh, banana skin. And then this, right, I'm getting hungry. And this right here, um, it basically comes off. It's glued down, by the way. You can see a little bit of glue there on both sides. And gradually pull it off the flathead screwdriver. Don't damage the part in the middle, all the electronics that's underneath this cap. You can see there's a solder tab here and a solder tab there, which I soldered onto. And um, you basically double your, your battery amperage, wattage, whatever. But you also add extra weight. When you add the extra weight, um, the drone now takes more power to fly farther, right? Obviously. But for, uh, I guess it's just normal. But when you add more weight to a drone, you probably should obviously up the size of the motors and up the size of the drivers. But I'm trying to make this a simple mod. So that's all I'm doing is just adding extra power to the battery system. Um, because that way, at the end, if you're not happy with this, you can just pop uh, the, the back, the stock battery back in and you're back to normal. Well, mind you, <laughs> I did cut two little holes in here just to get the wires in, but it's not a big deal because there's holes everywhere, especially right there. <laughs> um, but this mod here, adds I believe an extra 90 grams of weight and doubles the can you see that but 185 grams and it doubles the amount of power that you have for your drone which is nice but um, instead of going 10.5 kilometers with the existing drone um, stock you now go 14.5 but you actually don't go as fast um, the problem being is since it's heavier by an extra 90 grams, it will now not go um, climb as fast. It will climb at maybe only 60 or 75%. I think it's 70% 70, 70 of the speeds as it used to climb without the extra weight. And it will only travel at maybe what looks like P mode, somewhere around eight meters per second um, throughout its flight until it hits the point at about, I think, 20% on the battery level where it drops down to, I believe, six meters per second for the remainder of um, its flight, which by the way, when it hits zero on this drone, it will still, uh, on battery level, it will still fly another 20 minutes. And the only way you can actually know when it's gonna die is when you flick that battery level, you can tap on the battery percentage and it will now record or tell you the battery voltage and you're actually looking for 3.2 volts. 
at 3.2 volts, um, it'll basically fall out of the sky. Well, no, not really. It, um, it says that it's coming down at 3.2 volts and it cuts your ability to try and go up. So you're left at 3.2 volts with um, the drone being able to be steered at about six meters per second, but it's still dropping at two meters. You can't stop that. Um, you can redirect it towards a field if you want. The higher you are, the better. Um, but uh, yeah, it does fly sluggishly with the extra 90 grams. I, I um, actually, I don't like that mod. I, I mean, yeah, sure, you get an extra four kilometers, but um it's slow it's uh it just feels sluggish it doesn't jump around as quickly as it used to um so i'll probably convert these this battery back to a stock battery it's very easy to unsolder it um but if you like that idea you go right ahead and do that enjoy oh yeah by the way i did also i thought about it getting the the 3500 milliamp batteries from sanyo i think they're the what are they the um ncr 3500s i can't remember what they call them but they're the 10 amp version and you know the chemistry is actually slightly different than these these are actually inr these are cnr there is some chemistry difference i was afraid that charging might be an issue don't know if you felt like getting that going you could try a set of these and uh, but still mathematically because this drops down to 3.2 volts before it cuts off you don't actually get the full 2500 milliamps out of this you actually get somewhere close to maybe 2200 because of the drop the cutoff voltage and in here you actually only really get 2400 milliamps even though it's a 3500 milliamp battery it's just that they cut the voltage off before it's completely dead and you don't get the full benefit of it um that's it that's my story enjoy